In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix your tight psoas and SI joint problems with a full follow along exercise video for pain relief. This video has never been done on YouTube and is a comprehensive guide to feeling better in your hips and better in your life. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Caroline Jordan and I'm a health coach that teaches people how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of video content helping you to stay fit, stay positive, and live your very best life. So if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell so we stay connected every time I upload new content that's just for you. In this full length follow along psoas and SI joint exercise routine, you're going to get everything you need to feel better in your body, fix your posture, get rid of lower back pain, and perform properly in your life. As always, you'll want to check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. But if you've already hit the like button, subscribed to the channel, rolled out a mat, and grabbed a throw pillow, because you're going to need it for this exercise video, let's get started on this full length, follow along, never been seen exercise routine to fix your tight psoas and SI joint pain. All right, my friend, let's get moving so that you can fix your tight psoas and SI joint. If you have not done so already, press pause on this video and grab potentially a scarf or a strap and a throw pillow that you can use for the exercises today. You'll leave these next to your stuff so that you can have them handy when you need them when we move forward. All right, so if you're ready to start, you'll take yourself into tabletop position. So in tabletop, take your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Find your belly button and find a nice neutral spine. Feel free to add extra cushion underneath your mat if you need to for a little bit of knee support. From here, I'd like you to step your right foot forward and scoot your left knee back so you're coming into a version of a low lunge. Good. Hold this position, tuck the pelvis under and squeeze the back butt cheek. Now you can stay here if you're already feeling a nice deep stretch in this left hip flexor or if it feels good to your body, start to climb up that front knee. Scoop your pelvis forward and squeeze your back butt cheek hard, rock solid. Abs in nice and tight, nice long spine, deep breath. Inhale, exhale. As you continue to stay in this stretch with either your hands on the floor or on your top thigh, I want you to imagine lengthening through the top of your head, softening through your shoulders, and releasing through the front of your body. Let's try that deep breath again. Inhale. Exhale. You're doing great. From here, you can take your hands down if you need to, but you're just gonna back that lunge up a bit so that when you come up, you're in more of a 90 degree angle. You're not so much far forward in a low lunge. Scoop your stomach in, squeeze your back butt cheek, and reach your arms forward with the palms out, fingertips down. From here, you're going to twist towards the knee in front and return to center. Good, try that again. Twist and center. Now, as you twist, keep that back butt cheek engaged and center. And also, you're just getting a nice wrist stretch. Bonus. You're welcome. Good. Keep that twist going. Pull up and in through the belly. Let's do one more together. Twist, center, and relax. Come back to that tabletop position. So you'll slide your right foot forward or back, and then take your hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. You should already feel a difference between the sides. Movement is medicine. 
take that left foot, step it forward, and scooch the right knee back until you're in a low lunge position with your hands on the floor. Now, you can stay here if it's best for your body, or if you'd like to, climb up the front knee, scoop the stomach in, squeeze the back butt cheek, and lengthen through the top of the spine. Good, what helps me is pushing down through this front thigh, because I feel even more of a release through my right hip flexor. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you feel your low back here, come out of the lunge a little bit. Maybe it's too deep of a stretch for you. So modify as needed so you feel the front of your thigh and your hip flexor and not your lower back. Listen to your body. Let's take one more deep breath in. Long breath out. Good job. From here, you can take your hands back down to the floor and slide that front foot backwards so that when you come up, you're in more of a 90 degree angle, what I call proposal lunge. Caroline, I love this video. Let's get married together. Not quite, but you know where I'm going. Abs in nice and tight, squeeze the back butt cheek and reach your arms forward with the palms open, fingertips down. From here, inhale, and as you exhale, twist towards the front knee. Return to center and twist. I want you to use your breath here to help you lift and lengthen and release. Remember, if we're not breathing, nothing's gonna let go of tension. So you've gotta make sure there's some oxygen as we keep moving. This is your last one. Come back to center and release. From here, take that front leg back to a tabletop and I'd like you to slowly lay down on your belly. Grab your strap if you think you'll need it. We're going into a mat quad stretch. So with your belly on the mat, you'll take your hands down, giving yourself a pillow for your head and you'll reach back and grab hold of one ankle. Now this is where your strap comes in handy. You can strap up the foot and hold here if you're not quite flexible to grab the foot yet with your hand. Hold it down here, abs in nice and tight, and let your forehead rest on your hand as a pillow. Push your thigh into the mat and squeeze your back butt cheek so you're feeling a great release through the front of the thigh and the quad. Breathe in. Breathe out. Isn't that just amazing? This stretch is one of my all-time favorites. Let's hold it here for another moment, taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Great job. Release that foot carefully, and then all you'll do is reach your knee out to the side, coming into what I call sleeping pigeon pose. So it's not quite pigeon, but your knee is at a 90 degree angle and your ankle is out forward. So you're feeling a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Now, all you can do here is just relax and send positive thoughts to your hips. Nice positive thoughts. So as you breathe in, I want you to imagine yourself getting lighter and looser and releasing pain. You can inhale the good things and exhale the painful things. That feels amazing. From here, I want you to gently bring that leg back to center, back to the start, and let's try the second side. So if you used your strap on the first side, use it on the second. You'll strap up your foot or reach back to grab the ankle, let your forehead rest down on the mat, and pull your heel in towards your bottom. Now again, like I mentioned earlier, if you're feeling it in your lower back, it might mean the stretch a little bit too deep for you or your form is slightly off. So adjust and modify as needed. You should stop if you feel any pain. And you're smart. I know you know the difference between good stretch and bad stretch. So stop if this isn't smart for you. Breathe in. Breathe out. I could do this every day and actually kind of do so that my hips are happy and my movement is going well. Breathe in one more time. 
Great job. Carefully release the foot, and then I'd like you to take the right knee out to the side, coming into that sleeping pigeon pose. Try not to hike your hip up, try to just let the leg land naturally where it feels best, and let yourself soften into the stretch, allowing your hips to release and you to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. This feels incredible and I'm so happy we're doing it together. From this position, gently let yourself come back to that straight leg belly mat and then roll onto your side. So you're going to roll on over to your side and I'm just going to move my pillow. You can use your pillow for a little extra support if you want and actually maybe I'll do that. So you'll come into a laying down position on your side and I want you to grab hold of the top ankle and you're going to bring yourself into a side lying quad stretch. From here, squeeze your butt and push your hip forward, allowing the front of your thigh to stretch and release. We're going to move through a simple range of motion for the hip and hip flexor. You'll inhale and bring the knee in towards the chest. And as you exhale, kick the leg back, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the back butt cheek. Again, inhale forward. Exhale, kick back. Now, as you move, you want to be sure that you're not going into a hyperextension, allowing the back to arch. It's so important that your back stays flat so that you can really release the quads and the hip flexors. Coming forward and pressing back. So modify the range of motion if you feel like you're getting too much into your lower back and you're not getting the quad and hip flexor release that you want. Doesn't that just feel so good? Gosh, again, this is a video you can and should do every day. You'll have to let me know if you try it like 30 days in a row and if you feel better in your posture, your lower back, that would be amazing. I guarantee that could be in a success story for you. I challenge you, give me a success story. Good, this is your last one. Bring it back and relax. From this position, you'll lay onto your back and I would remove the pillow if you're using it for your head. Take the same leg that you just worked on top of the thigh coming into a figure four position with the legs. Flex this top foot and either stay here or guide the legs in towards your chest, stretching through the piriformis. Now, I know that we're really focusing on the psoas muscle today, but often the hip muscles are all, well, you know this, they're all connected. So we're trying to ease the relationship of your entire pelvis. Pretty good stuff. Now, you're either going to stay here or come into a twist. So the foot that's on top, you'll twist so that it comes down onto the floor. Oh, I feel this so much. And then twist your upper body in the opposite direction. Now, what I choose to do is push down through this top foot and I get an extra release in my outer hip muscles. Feels incredible. I want you to breathe in and breathe out. Great job. From here, you'll let yourself rock back to center, uncross the legs, and we'll safely come to the other side. So if you use the pillow on side one, you're going to use the pillow on side two because, you know, just be fair to the body, be nice. Lay yourself down and you're going to reach back and grab the foot or ankle with the top hand. Let yourself be comfortable here. And as you inhale, you'll bring the knee towards the chest. And as you exhale, you'll kick the leg back, stretching through your hips and quads. Good, inhale forward, exhale back. Again, make sure that you keep your lower back flat here. And as your leg comes back, you're squeezing your back butt cheek, squeeze it hard so that you really feel the stretch in the front of the body. If you've been sitting at a desk for many years at a corporate job or you drive a lot, you do a lot of spinning or a lot of running, chances are this video routine is perfect to help you balance out those angry tight quads and psoas muscles. Oh my goodness, it's medicine for the body. This is your last one. Good job. Okay, 
relax. Lay onto your back and let's try that twist again. So you're laying down and you'll take the top leg that you just worked, stack it on top of the bottom knee, flex the foot, and then I want you to guide the legs in towards your chest if you can. You can of course always leave the legs here and feel a great hip release. It just depends on your body. So do what's best for you. You're smart, I know you are. That's why you're here on this channel. So breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Give love to your hips. From here, I want you to take this position and twist it. So your foot falls softly on the floor. You'll take your upper body and reach it in the opposite direction, coming into a very nice gentle spine twist with a hip bonus. Inhale. And exhale. I'm so proud of you. This feels so good. But sometimes it's hard to remember to take time to feel good throughout our day. Showing up is often the hardest part but you're here and you press play, and hopefully you'll feel better after all of this work. Bring it back to center, gently uncross the legs, and take a moment. So now we're going to move into a few exercises to kind of reset the pelvis and the SI joint. As always, you're going to stop if you feel any pain and just really listen to your body as we move forward, okay? So the first one is an isometric pelvis reset, and this works in having you move your legs in opposition while having you squeeze your core. So watch the video first if you need to before you try it on yourself. What you'll do is you'll lift your legs into tabletop and let's do this. We'll take your left hand on the outside of your left knee and your right hand on top of your right thigh. So what will happen is I'm going to push into my left hand and push into my right thigh creating opposition but my knees will not move. So you're going to inhale, and as you exhale, press. So I'm pressing, 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 right knee into right hand, left knee into left hand, hold, brace through your core, and relax. Try switching side two. So you're going to take your right hand on the outside of your right knee, your left hand on top of your left thigh. Take, make sure your back is flat, abs engaged, take a breath and then press. Try not to let your knees split apart. Press as hard as you can, breathe, and relax. Take your two fists, press them together, and then place them in between your knees. Now, with your fists together, squeeze your knees into your fists. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Are you squeezing? Squeeze a little harder. Okay, and Relax, okay, come up, shake it out. We'll do one more, just so you can kind of get a sense for the movement and what you're doing to kind of balance out that SI joint, all right? So here we go, we're gonna lift your legs to the tabletop, left hand on outside of the left knee, right hand on top of the right thigh. Abs braced, back flat, push into the hands. Create that opposition, breathe in, Breathe out. Oh, relax. Switch sides. Good job. This is hard. Now I'm making you work. Okay, right hand outside of the right thigh and left hand on top of the left thigh. From here, push. Push, push, push. Are you pushing? Push a little harder. And relax. Ha! Fists together, fists in between the knees. And now abs tight, squeeze into the fists. Brace through your abs. Think positive thoughts, because that always helps. And relax. Okay, great job. From here, you're going to keep your knees about hip distance apart, feet flat on the floor. And I want you to take your hands against your thighs. Now this works better if you have a mini band, but since many people don't have mini bands at home, I'm just gonna show you how to use the this exercise with body weight. So of course, if you have a mini band, I would wrap that around your legs, but let's get creative with your arms today. So hands around your thighs. What you're going to do is push into your thighs using your hip muscles. So I want you to resist out. Think about pushing, pushing, pushing into your hands. 
and relax. Try that again. Push into the hands. Oh, feels so good. And relax. Good job. Let's do one more. Push into your hands. And release. Whew. Find your pillow. Mine's right behind my head. And you're going to stick your pillow in between your knees. Squeeze it nice and tight. From here with the abs tight, ribs in, lift yourself up into a bridge position. The bridge is one of the best exercises you can do to counterbalance sitting or tight hip flexor muscles. It helps you to strengthen the glutes and the hamstrings and lengthen through the hips and the quads. So fun fact, do the bridge. It will help you with those tight psoas muscles and hopefully help you with a happier pelvis too. So squeeze hips up, ribs in, smiling and breathing, and relax. Let's try that hip bridge one more time. And I love using the pillow because it helps keep your alignment in perfect form. Okay, so abs tight, come up, squeeze that pillow, keep your ribs in, and breathe. You're doing so great. Stay with it. and relax. Our last exercise together is a dead bug. You can do this with the pillow or without the pillow. I'm gonna use the pillow today because I like my pillow. You'll bring your pillow against your thighs and lift your legs into tabletop position. I want you to press into the pillow with both your legs and your arms. From here, the right hand is gonna go back and the left leg is going to go out as you press in opposition with the pillow against the thighs. Come back to center and alternate, switch. Now this is a lot trickier than it looks. Come back to center, switch. Keep your back flat, ribs in. So maybe watch this once if you get, or get confused. I work with a lot of clients virtually and this one always is like, what are we doing, Caroline? <laughs> I'm patting my head and, and rubbing my belly. What, this is the weirdest exercise. Do you feel your abs like crazy? I know, right? Press, 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 and center, and reach. Let's do one more on this side. Press, and center. Beautiful. Before we get ending this video, I want you to take that pillow right back between your knees, abs tight, and slowly lift back up into one final hip bridge. I want you to take a deep breath in, and out. And I want you to notice how you feel. Beautiful. Slowly lower down. Remove the pillow. Take your knees to one side and sit your way all the way up. All right, my friend. So that was your full comprehensive routine to fix a tight psoas and SI joint through exercises that work. I have a challenge for you. I want you to try this routine multiple times a week for the course of at least a month and leave me a comment and tell me if your hips and pelvis feel better. I'm pretty positive that if you do this video routine consistently, it will help you feel better in your psoas and your SI joint and your life. So you'll have to do that experiment. I challenge you, because I want to see if you have positive re results from all of these incredible exercises. I can't thank you enough for joining me for this SI joint and psoas routine. And of course, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit like on this video, and share this video routine with someone you know has tight hip flexors, tight psoas muscles, has terrible posture, lower back pain, and could benefit from these exercises too. I'm so grateful that you're here on the channel and I'm sending lots of love to you, your psoas and your SI joint. Thank you so much for pressing play on this video, hitting like and subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.